Yeah, but I don't, I don't believe they cut their nose off despite their face. They're mm -hmm. in the business of trying to win games. And I believe if they'd have felt someone out there could have made them better, they'd maybe make a move. Look, uh, Aaron Rodgers didn't give them a discount, um, but I guess they want to hold on to their picks. They could have gotten uh, a receiver with the Jordan Love pick. Wow, who knew? A guy that's not going to help you for what? The very foreseeable future. You're wasting. He's riding away on the bench when you could have drafted a receiver to help one said Aaron Rodgers. Mm. But that's not what you did. You maybe could have got an offensive lineman, or maybe you could have got something else. At least something that could pay dividends currently. You didn't do that. Nope. That's not Aaron Rodgers' fault that he played that, that he's maximizing the same thing with Dak. They said, well, well Dak's going to have the highest, the second highest cap here next year. It was one of the reasons they didn't want to give 18, uh, a guarantee $18 million to Brandon Cooks. Yep. Okay, I ain't got no problem with that. But I don't, Skip, I don't believe. They're like, well, since you ain't going to give us no discount, we ain't going to give you no help. <laughs> well, well, come on, Skip, now. Okay, but I do get the feeling from a distance that Green Bay management, maybe even the coaching staff, they just don't like him. You know, they, they don't enjoy having to work with him. Oh, he's and, probably tough to deal yeah, with, for and, sure. And that they feel held hostage by the fact that he pushed them, pushed them, you know, you're going to trade me, you're going to trade me. And finally they said, okay, we cave in, we give in. We're going to pay him $50 million a year. Yeah. And now it's like he got them and they're trying to get even with him by not giving him, giving in to him to give him exactly what he wants, which is another quality receiver, right? Right. Okay, it is cutting off nose to spite face, but it just feels like there's such animosity. It's, it's a one-way street. I don't think Aaron hates them because he's the king of Green Bay, right? Well, I, I think he does. I think because, Skip, for the longest time, you know, he wanted some say, and they didn't consult him on personnel moves, and you figure somebody that has the cachet that I have should have been consulted when they let coaches go or when they hired coaches. So he felt he never got the kind of the privilege that some of the other. I think that Patrick Mahomes, I think when Andy Reid makes a move, they run it by Pat. Hey, Pat, what you were thinking about no, doing I, this? What do you think about this? No, and I got it. And, and But I can assure you, Bill Belichick ain't run nothing by no, Tom Brady. I, I got it, but it just felt like they were ready to cut bait with Aaron, but yeah. they didn't trust Jordan Love enough to say, no. let's go forward with him. I agree, right? yes. And so it's like they're stuck with each other. And w once uh, Devon, they let Devontae walk yep. out the door, Alan Zard is nicked up, Randall Cobb yep. has an ankle, Christian yep. Watson in Kentucky, I mean, in concussion yep. protocol. And the young guys, Skip, they're just young. I, I forgot, Aaron, forget that, you know, he didn't make any contribution to the Packers for three years. Mm -hmm. I guess he forgot that. I just wish they were as hard on him as he are, uh, is on those receivers. Mm. I just hope they're effed up a week from Sunday. <laughs> I, I hope they get it all together by the end. You got a whole bye week to get healthy, Skip. Oh, get, get, get all right, guys. Ready. How impressive is Luka Doncic's start to this season? Oh, oh, oh we got to jump in and talk about baby this one. Bird. That's not at all to you. It's not. See, this, this is the problem that I have. Tom Brady is not playing well this season. And because Tom Brady is not playing well, he's a great record. Let's go back and combine his regular season and postseason record. Tom Brady is great. He is a great player, but it's okay for great players as they age to not be what they once was. Okay, but that's not the question. And it's not okay. a skip, it's a longevity. So let me ask you a question. When have we combined regular season and postseason? Well, if that's the case, LeBron James is the all-time leading scorer. Mm -hmm. He has more points than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar if you combine both. Okay. But nobody does that. We normally, what we've always done, regular season and postseason. This guy is a tremendous postseason guy. Tom, I remember when Tom Brady was not putting up these big numbers like Peyton Manning, and Peyton Manning was putting up big numbers in the regular season. What did everybody say? It was all about the postseason. Now, because the guy isn't complaining really well, he's not playing well based on who he is, now we got to find us another stat to remind us how great Tom Brady is. We know. Mm. Tom Brady is great. If you want to say... Uh, you say we, but I, I, you're including you in the we. I don't think you know how I Brady know he's is. great. But, what, but when do we... You but, refute that on a daily basis. No, I basis. don't. No, what I refute is that because he's great, he can't play bad. Mm -hmm. What I will do is that when Tom Brady plays bad, I will say he played bad regardless of how great he is. Great players do play bad sometimes. And it's okay for a great player to all of a sudden get to an age where he can't do it consistently like he once could. And that's what we're seeing with Tom Brady. Now, this is a longevity record, right? Mm -hmm. Because that you, 
Oh, it's a longevity record. Yeah. We, we, do we have praise for longevity records? Because mm. that's what you keep telling me. The reason why LeBron doing all this is because he played along. He played this, this, this. What quarterback has played 23 years? No, you got it. Okay. That's true. But keep going. Ain't no keep going. Okay, what's LeBron done? He has slightly passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most points scored in regular season and postseason. Correct? Anybody mention that? Nobody cares because the, well, the it, what, ha what, it happened last year, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. But what matters is the regular season. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the all-time leading scorer. And Skip, football records are not as prestigious as baseball. No. They've never been, they've never meant they've never meant the same. And even basketball, and now basketball, if you don't if, what's, if you don't average 50 in a season, you got to do you got to break a benchmark. Somebody got to average 51 for somebody to, for it to mean something. Mm. Somebody got to average 25 rebounds in a season for it to mean something. You do it, it doesn't mean anything, Skip, because the numbers are not the same like a baseball. We know what 500, you know, somebody hit 500 home runs. That's a benchmark, 3,000 strikeouts or 400 batting average. Okay. Skip, I mean, come on, Skip, 100,000 yards. And that's what we're doing. So we're gonna we're gonna try to because Tom Brady's playing bad. We're gonna go reach back. But if you combine his regular season and postseason, he's on a hundred thousand yards. What does that got to do with how he's playing right now? Okay, it, it has nothing to do, and that's your problem and your fault and your mistake because you keep trying to say he's playing bad. That's not the question or the issue at hand. Skip. He's going to pass 100,000 oh, yards. Skip. You have to acknowledge that and say when? that's highly impressive. When? It has nothing to do how, with how he's playing. But, 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 Skip, that's my thing. What you're trying to do because he's playing bad. I'm not you, trying to do you anything. Try, you, no, what you're trying to do because saying 100,000 yards, because he's playing bad, let's move the needle. Let's not talk about what he's looking like right now. Let's look at the cumulative well, effect that no he's done. There's no needle to move. You, you already moved it. You stuck it in him. You took that needle yeah. and stuck it in his back. Is he playing good? Is okay, he... that's not the question. Nobody, Jim didn't ask you, is he playing good no, right now, Shane? I told you why. Because what it is is because he's playing bad. You're trying to, you try, you are trying oh, to move. So, the... so now you think it's a plot on my part yep. to take the focus off on how poorly he's playing right now, right? Yeah, there it is. False. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm calling your baloney on that one because I had no idea he was about to pass 100,000 yards, and then I start looking closely at it, and he gets no credit for a sensational achievement because look who's second on the list. It's Drew Brees. He's almost 15,000 yards ahead of Drew Brees on combined. This is regular and post. Yeah. It's all the games you ever played in the National Football League, yeah. all the games that counted. You add him up, and he's now 15, almost 15,000 yards ahead of Drew Brees. How many, more, how many more games has he played? Okay, but the point is, he, he wasn't even in a passing offense for Bill Belichick. It'd be like LeBron stuck in some slowdown offense in Cleveland for his first whatever years, where the, they just didn't try. They, they played defense and, and tried to run the clock down. Well, they was, played slow motion basketball. Okay. I'll concede. Let's just say for the first five or six years of his career, they wasn't a throw. But from 2007 until now, they've been a passing team. Mm -hmm. So for the better part of 16 years, okay, they've I, been a throwing team. Okay, so LeBron has barely passed Kareem as the all-time, all-time leading scorer because we're combining regular and post. Correct. So he did that last year. It's did the, anybody mention it? Okay. Yes, we, we did a whole topic on it. It, it was 44,149 points where Kareem and now LeBron is edged by me. He's 44, 8, 43. So he's a few hundred, about 600 ahead. Okay. Think about this. Brady is 15,000 yards ahead of Drew Brees. And it's hard to equate yards to points. Thank you. I got you. I, I got you. But the point is for LeBron to, to, uh, to achieve the equivalent he would need to pass Kareem. He'd at least need to get to 50,000 where you'd say, wow, that's a big number, 50000, right? That would be, it's like 100,000 is a huge number that you don't think about, but it's a milestone type. 50,000, if LeBron, can LeBron get to 50,000 points? I, I don't Probably know. How not. much longer can he play? I don't know. Right. He's starting to show, it, but, it's, but, but it's skip, ironic with LeBron because he's doing the father time because, commercials but, but and they just air every the commercial. Thing, but skip, the difference and, is, the difference is with LeBron, LeBron actually has to put the ball in the basket. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady can throw a five-yard route, guy goes 80 yards, and Tom Brady gets credit for an 80-yard touchdown. Sometimes he throws it 65 yards. Tom Brady yeah. can't throw the ball 65 oh, yards. Oh, stop, stop it. You think Tom Brady can throw the ball? Absolutely. Hold on, hold on. So you think Tom Brady can throw the ball like P.J. Walker did? He held yes. the ball, I think, Yes, yes.
I mean, maybe not on the run, but if he stands back and hauls off, you better believe he can still All those it. skip passes that you seen on Thursday night. Did you see those skip passes? That he was... what, what are you talking about, skip pass? That has nothing to do with the arm strength. Well, 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 he, well he should have been able uh, to hit Mike Evans. Yeah, because you keep saying he has declining arm talent. I see zero decline in any of it. And I, every week I show you five throws, and you say, yeah, that was pretty And then good. I can show you five throws where he's skipping okay, the ball. All right. And by the way, listen to my podcast this week, if you will, because my top chunk of the podcast is about the shock to me, I go deeply into